Yeah. 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 It's only in the first round of combat. So if this goes on to round two, yeah. they don't get the rerolls anymore. And he's strength six, so he needs twos. So four of them. Four of them get their save. They have a four up save. They have a three up save, but he's strength six. Why is it three up? Because they have shields and heavy armor. Their their chaos armor. Chaos armor. So it's a four up for the chaos armor, and then three up because they have shields. Okay. So three and then six, so he needs sixes because he's four, five, six. So you go three, four, five, six for your save. But you have a shield and close combat weapon. Yeah. So you're gonna get a six and then another six for your parry. Because you're gonna get to parry save like my crossbows did there. Okay. So six up save against four. So you made one and then those three get another six up save because they're parrying. Didn't make it. So three of them died. So I take from the end, go yeah. back. Yep. So back guy, and then two more. But it actually doesn't matter because like, you guys won't be able to attack anyway, or can they? They will get one attack, yeah. All of the, the whole back rank is getting them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But you do have to start from an end. Okay. So I'll do that. All right. And then the rest of this is add initiative, so everyone's at the same time. Okay. My warriors will go there. Okay. Warriors of Chaos. Chaos warrior. They have two attacks each. So you've got... 10 from the front rank, and you have the uh, Chaos Champion in here too, and he has three attacks, right? Yeah, he's a guy in front. So you have 11 attacks, okay, and then four more supporting attacks from the back, so 15 attacks in total. The other thing is, the one guy here on the end, he can only hit my Dreadlord, okay? So two of those attacks have to go against my bar. And the rest of them, you could delegate this guy against the Lord if you'd like. No. I wouldn't. Yeah. So, so there you go. So I am weapon skull. Five. Five. So you need threes to hit, except on the red dice that needs four. There you go. There you go. And now you need threes on all of them. Check for oh, okay. So I have a six up save. Now hold on. They might have some sort of abilities that I'm forgetting here. Such as the Will of Chaos. What does that do again? They roll panic. Okay. Same thing as a helms. Yeah. That's all they have. That's all they've got. Alright, so I have a six up save. Okay. So they're all dead. Awesome. So eight of them died. Man, it's not as satisfying when you have so many guys. It really just kind of puts a dent in them. They get to attack back. Yeah. You have one attack each? One attack each. Oh, and because they have spears, they get a third rank. Oh yeah, and it's only the... And in your case, it'd be the first three that can attack me, not all of them. Right. Okay, well that's not so bad. Yeah. So you got three guys in the front, five guys in the second rank, and five guys in the third rank. And there, because you're Nurgle, they're weapon skill 3 against weapon skill 5, so it's still only 14. Four and they hate you. We reroll that. There we go. Wow, that's worked out really well for you. It always does. <laughs> but now they need 5s. And they got 1. Yeah. Because they're awesome at this. And so you get a 4 up, or 3 up save, actually. Yeah. And had you failed that, you would have gotten your parry save as well. Really? So a three up, and then a six up. Okay, so you lost seven guys? And we still have this. Oh yeah, that's right. And that counts towards combat resolution. Exactly. So we are at the... Actually, your Chaos Lord, or your Sorcerer, might have a higher initiative. So Chaos Sorcerer is initiative five. Uh, yeah, same time. Okay. How many attacks do we have? You get two attacks. So two attacks each. Weapon skill five. I'm actually just gonna look up his thing, just to make sure he doesn't have it. He's got the Will of Chaos and Eye of the Gods. You rolled on it to get plus one armor save. Remember at the beginning we rolled off, you got a six. The big chart. Yes. Yeah. Did we do that on camera? I don't think we did. 
We did do that on camera, so I have plus one to my oversight. Yeah. And that's for the rest of the game. For the rest of the game. But didn't you mention something where I get to roll on that table more if I do something? If you kill guys in challenges, you yeah. roll again. Oh. It's only not, not human champions, though. Oh, really? It's only characters? Characters or monsters. Oh, my bad. Then um, killing this guy won't actually do it. Yeah. Okay, so the You'd only chance for me to kill do that is to kill your dreadlord. Okay. So I'm two attacks? Yeah. I'll just roll first. Yeah. Threes to hit, threes to win. Nothing. I got two twos. These dice suck. Fours. One hit. And a five. No. It's okay though. Still probably won't come. I think I did, yeah. Because uh, up by seven, plus I charged, is eight. Plus banner. Well, I did three wounds. So you're up by five. Did I get a banner for this? I don't remember. Yeah, you did. I have a banner as well. So we're even there. Banners don't do anything. But you charged me. Yeah. So you're up by another one. But I have three ranks, so you win by three. Okay. And your leadership is what? Ten. So you have seven? Yeah. Oh, you could fail this. Yep. But I don't. So that's that. All right, so now this combat. Yep. Now these guys will reset pretty much. Next sure. turn, we can reissue challenges. Okay. Oh, yes. You know what? I should have issued a challenge to your guy. But you can After decline. Challenge. Chaos has to challenge. Yeah, you guys have to challenge. Uh, no, I what I meant to say was like, like I, I know that I have to, but I should have uh, gone against your Dreadlord. But can oh. you decline and like throw the other guy in place? Yeah, I choose which guy in my unit takes the challenge. Oh, okay. Next turn I'll probably take with the Dreadlord just to wail on your Sorcerer. Well, that's not fun. So. <laughs> okay, so, all right, viewers, we're going to zoom in here a little bit more. The other side of the battlefield is a little bit sparse right now. Yep. So let's go over here. Let's move this right here. These guys are not in play right now, so just forget about them. They're just coming back. You're in issue five, right? Yep. And I'm You're in issue five, too. Yeah. I think I'm all in issue five, Larry. Probably. And I know I am. Okay. Except for the hydra. So we're going to the same time. Oh, I forgot the horses get to hit as well. They get to hit as well. When you, t when you kill this unit, oh. your horses would have kicked after everyone else attacked. That's true. So. Anyway, you can attack you. Okay. There are two attacks each. Yes, I go two attacks each. And this group does not have a champion. No. This group has no upgrades. Let's so attack. Reason two. I think I grabbed a non two. Did you see it? I don't think these guys are gonna live. Okay. So that's six. Yep, they don't have an armor save now. They do have shields, so they get their parry save. Okay, six. So they're all in. They still get to attack on them. Oh, they do get to attack, yeah. What about horses attack? Whatever their initiative is. Not gonna be five. Like three or three. There you go. So these guys attack, they need fours. Need to reroll. Minus seven. So I need snake eyes, and they are. So they just lose, or we, we run. You can actually you have the option here as well. You can choose to not chase me. My horses attack you. Your horses attack me, yeah. So five horses. Okay. I guess there's another one attack each. Yeah, one skill. Up skill three. Scores. Scores. That's one. And strength three. Strength four. Four. Three is to wound. So this guy gets a six up and then another six up. Okay. So that'd be you lost your leadership anyway, and so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So they're still gonna run. Didn't make a difference. Okay. Now, it's, what did you say? What were you saying? My options here? You have the option to either try and run me down, or you can reform and face a different direction. And not run in that direction. You won't move in that direction. No. You'll just basically turn around or turn or face whatever way you want. And these guys will get to run away free. And they have the option to rally again following turns. You know what? It's probably better if you get to turn around. Probably. Especially with them standing there. Because You're as hard knights? as your guys' knights hit my guys, mine will do the same thing to yours. Yeah. Just like how yours will do the same thing to mine. I might as well get a head start and do it now. Because yeah. there's only three guys left here. There. 
so they're going to run. That would be an earthquake in the middle of Welland. So they scurry off six inches. And just for the viewers, I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer here and face it down and zoom out. So now you can see everything that's in this battle. There we go, that's a little better. Okay. So how do, how do I turn them around? Do I just simply turn them around in the yeah. exact spot? That Basically they are? you pick the middle guy and then you turn him from where he is. So you don't have to necessarily, it doesn't have to be a 180, you can turn whatever amount you want. So they can face like that, like that. Oh, so I can turn and face you? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'll do then. Do you have to do a leadership check to not run someone down for chaos? Yes. Uh, uh, unless you're corn, you must run down. He's not. So not actually, corn. you do have to do a leadership check in order to not run my down. Okay, so in order to not run them down, I do a leadership yeah. check. That's like to use their mind and decide different tactics. And instead of just running them all down, they're like, wait, 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 wait. let's not do that. Yeah. Okay, so basically, I need an 8 and I got an 8. Exactly. So you're fine. It doesn't come up with my guys because my guys all have to run you down. Yeah. So I don't ever actually deal with it a lot. Okay. So now it's your turn. Okay. And yeah. So they're going to try and rally. And they do. Because they're not below 25% yet. Yep. So basic. Actually. What do you mean they're not below 25%? There, there, were, tw there were 10 of them. Oh, there were 7 left. Okay. Well, 3 left? Yeah. They're basically gonna turn around and shoot me out back. back. Yeah. They're gonna chest for stupidity. The Cola Knights will? Yeah. They pass so they don't stumble. Okay. Now they're going to. They don't have a musician, so they can't do a swift reform. You have the option, if you have a musician, you can do a leadership check and basically do what you did where you turned around yeah. and then do a regular move. If you don't have that, you can do you can do a reform as well. Yeah. But then they can't move because my plan was to do a swift reform, face you, and then move backwards, so that when you had to charge a further distance. Right. Can't do that though. So they're just going to run. So they're marching their fourteen. I think run away from you. Yep. Why? So they go five because I want to get charged. At least not in the back. <laughs> Move the camera up here just to see what you're doing. So you're deciding to run this way. Yep. And then two well, the last two inches in there, 14 inch movement. So basically they went like that. Okay. And that's it. Magic phase would come up. No magic. No magic. Shoot it. Shooting. There's three guys. You can't shoot if you rally, can you? You got it. Yeah, all right, that's fine. So those three guys right there? I'm gonna shoot these knights. Okay. I get the red dice again, because they're lordling live. They count as moving. They shot twice, they're gonna shoot twice, but they are within half. So they need fives on the white and then fours on the red dice. <laughs> Great. And then we move on to the combat. All right, let's go to the combat now. Which one do you want to start with? The only one there is. Right there. Okay. Now it's my turn, so I issue challenges first. My Dreadlord is going to challenge. Challenge my sorcerer? Well, I just challenged the unit, and you have the option, but your guys have to challenge. So your sorcerer is going to challenge. Yes, why? Why doesn't my champion? He can still accept with his champion. Oh, really? It's just that if you don't issue a challenge, he must issue a challenge. With Fair either enough. the champion. The champion can still be the one, like a champion still has that same rule. It's just they don't get any bonuses from it unless you have more. I don't know, Chaos, that great. As spoken by the Overseer of All. He plays Chaos. He does. He's also the Overseer of the club, so that kind of helps. Yep. Alright, so... Who wants to fight the Dreadnought? Champion or Sorcerer? Now, in your experience, which one would be better for me? The Champion. 
because then the guy who dies is not your sorcerer. Neither of them are going to kill the Dreadlord. Okay, then I'll choose my champion, which is, I don't know where. Let's say he's One there. One of these guys, yeah. I think he's right there. Because he's modeled differently. There you go. My champion is bigger than your Dreadlord. Not that that matters in terms of stats. Okay, so let's continue. It's not even stats. He's got better stats than my guy, too. What? My guy's just got better gear. Oh, it's all about the armor, huh? Yep. And gear. Magic. All right. Magic stuff. It is a lot of magic. Now, what about... No, never mind. You don't have magic. Nope. So, your guy goes first. It's about combat. He's got four attacks. He doesn't get to reroll anymore, because we're not on the first round of combat. Jordan, what time is it? Okay. Freeze to hit. Oh. Ah, oh, he missed. Three of those attacks. Okay. Two's to wound. Any wounds. One wound. So you have a six up save now. Oh! And you do get your parry. Another oh, six up. Another six up. Right here. Nothing. So he's dead. This guy? Yeah. What? Rock. What? Now, so someone told me that one of these guys is upgraded to a champion when the champion dies. Who told you that? So he was obviously he was obviously a liar, and so uh, that doesn't happen. So. No, no, that that doesn't no. <laughs> okay. Little voice in your shoulder doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That one's good. Yeah, he's throwing dice underneath <laughs> the table. Okay. What else we got? What else we do? So are we go on to the combat. We're all the same initiative. Same initiative. Okay, I'll roll first just because it's fun. Yeah. So now you've got the front guys. Including the sorcerer who has two attacks in the same stat line as everybody else. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep. And then fourteen. Yep. So we got six, ten, fourteen. Look at that. That's the exact amount that I need. So my dreadlord actually just on a side note, he's killed four people now, so he has a one plus save. Why has he killed four people? He killed three in the last rank, and then he just killed that champion. And the way he works is every time he kills somebody, his armor save gets better. So he probably won't be killed by anything. Sorry. Probably not. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I oh shoot. I have to accept challenges, don't I? Yeah. Don't worry, you're probably going to kill my unit this time. And if you run my guys down, champion dies too. Oh, well then there you go. That's the only way I've lost a dreadlord so far, is either magic or getting run down. So I need threes and threes. Yep. And you don't get your hatred rolls anymore. Nope. They didn't do anything last time either. It was just him. <laughs> Six. And they have sixes and then sixes again. No, they don't have the parry save because they have spears. So they just need sixes. So no. six of them die. Yeah, that's that's kind of fun. Very much so. Yeah. Well you get a lot of attacks back on there. They have fifteen attacks back. So there's five, five, three, and the champion has two. So, force without the rerolls. Wow, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Yes. And then fives. Well, that's four. Yep. And then you have a three up save. Three up, and then a six up if you fail it. Then a six up. Now, what's this like rank thing where I have six guys in the front? Is that coming into effect right now? You're getting attacks. You're not getting a rank bonus because you have to have at least five guys in the second rank. Uh, so like how I have one, two, and three. So I'm going to get three bonus points for that, pretty much. Yeah. So and that's all that counts for. Yeah. And having more ranks, which in hindsight, I had more ranks than you. So my leadership stays the same. It doesn't get penalized. They're stubborn because we have more guys backing us up. So you know how it was minus three before? Yeah. It would be at 10. Oh, so still it should be. It stays at their leadership, yeah. So okay. it's going to be like that now. It gives you back, you can't afford to buy that many gas warriors. They're too expensive to get that kind of bonus to override it. Yeah. So you need marauders to team up with the gas warriors. You have like a huge block of three of them. And they can outstep that someone pretty easily. So that like sounds like a lot of fun. Cheap. There you go. Chaos tactics. I can't help you there. <laughs> Okay. I can tell you to bring a Dreadlord and you'll win if you play Dark Elves. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, so... I lost combat. But I did two wounds. But it doesn't matter, because you don't go below 10 because you're stubborn, right? Yeah. 
I did two wounds and I have three, so yeah, ten. Why don't you fail this? That's a fun. Yeah, it would surprise me. Ah, make it! Leadership <laughs> <laughs> ten. Alright. That's that. Okay, now next. That's my turn. Now it's your turn. So Chaos turn three. Can I break away from combat? Nope. Oh, well, I was just asking. Not that I would want to. One of these guys does take the champion spot. Right. Let's actually just go right back here in the camera. Moving it around a lot, guys, because I want you to see... The cavalry running around? Things that are happening as they're happening, not after or just hearing about them. All right, so now we do declare charges. Yeah. I can't charge it. No, probably not. 20 inches. You could get 12. If you roll box cars. No, no. 6-6. Six, six. Actually, yeah, you have a movement 8, so you can charge 20 inches. It's possible.